It's fitting. Ten years after Celtics GM Danny Ainge pulled off a blockbuster trade to bring in Kevin Garnett alongside Ray Allen and Paul Pierce, he sealed another huge trade to bring in Kyrie Irving, the most talented and accomplished player in the NBA under the age of 26. And it's even crazier once you realize how Ainge got Kyrie to Boston in the first place. You have to rewind back to 2013 after the Celtics lost a tough first round playoff series to the Knicks of all teams. That's when it became clear the era of Pierce, KG, and Doc Rivers was likely over. So Ainge decided to go into full rebuild mode, letting Doc walk and hiring Brad Stevens as the new head coach and trading away the 37-year-old Garnett and the 36-year-old Pierce to the Nets for a bunch of throw-ins and four first-round picks. As you know, Brooklyn had two okay seasons before going into the shitter. Those picks would eventually become the 2014 sixth overall pick, the 2016 third overall pick, the 2017 first overall pick, and we don't know what the 2018 pick will be, but we know it helped bring Boston Kyrie Irving. So let's look at what those picks actually brought in. In 2014, the Celtics drafted Marcus Smart, a great defender who could see a spot in the starting lineup if his shot keeps improving. In 2016, they brought in Jalen Brown, who obviously has a bright future ahead of him. They used this year's pick, traded it down to get Jason Tatum, who Ainge felt was the best player in the draft, and likely a future lottery pick from either the Lakers or Kings. And of course, they used the 2018 pick as the main prize in the Kyrie Irving trade. And I would argue all of those assets didn't just help Boston rebuild quickly, it put them in position to snag big name free agents like Gordon Hayward and Al Horford. In fact, those close to the situation have said that if the Warriors weren't the Warriors, the Celtics would have been Kevin Durant's first choice, which is saying something because up until about a year ago, Boston was considered a weak free agent destination, probably because of the weather. So to sum up Danny Ainge's career since becoming GM in 2003, he acquired a lot of young talent and draft picks, traded them to bring in KG and Ray Allen to form the next Celtic super team, won a championship and went to two NBA finals. He then recycled that team and acquired what would become three, most likely four lottery picks, used most of those picks to rebuild, flipped a former last pick in the draft finished to finishing fifth in the MVP race, used him and the 2018 pick to bring in Kyrie Irving. He also turned Boston into a free agency hotbed, and they still probably have a lottery pick either next year or the year after. So to all of those who criticize Danny Ainge's overly patient managerial style, it worked. It pays to be patient. And the thing is, you don't even have to be that patient. This process only took four years.